What is going on guys? It's Bergs back here for another one today. I want to do a little topic video and that is going to be dipper problems. So uh, what do I mean by that? Well, problems that we as dippers experience from time to time as taking part in this uh, activity that we so much enjoy. Um, so without any real rhyme or reason or order to this, uh, the first one that comes to mind uh, that may happen to us pretty frequently is um, either not having a spitter uh, when necessary or uh, you've got, let's say, uh, half a bottle of water or half of whatever you're drinking and you've either got to dump it out or chug it real fast um, in order to, to um, have a spitter. In fact, just before I threw this one in, this was about half full with water, uh, so I slammed it down pretty fast. Um, yeah, definitely a common one. Um, I can also remember one time where um, I had thrown a dip in, thought I had a spitter in the center console, but didn't check, and in the meantime had got on, gotten on the highway. So I was pretty much out of luck in that situation with no spitter. Um, but I made it. So that's definitely one that I think about uh, happening pretty frequently. Another is, uh, this happened a lot in college when you're drinking and um, you're, you know, not necessarily out but just kind of chilling with friends or whatever and um, you have to kind of choose between having another beer and throwing a lip in because um, nobody wants their Grizzly Wintergreen to be, uh, have the aftertaste of Natty Light. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's another dipper problem, uh, because is it, do I spit my dip out because I want to take a drink of whatever, um, do I deal with the fact that, you know, I, and I can kind of drink with a dip in, but it's still not that pleasant because no matter how good you are at it, you're always going to get a little bit of the flavor of the drink mixed in with your dip, in my opinion. Uh, so that's definitely another dipper problem. Another one, maybe not too common if you're not in a cold climate, but I had this happen to me once, I think I shared it before, um, where I left a tin in my car overnight and um, it, was, it was in the dead of winter so it was probably like 10 degrees outside and I had gone to pack the can and it wasn't Grizzly, I think it was Skull or Copenhagen and I, I didn't have a firm grip on the lid portion. I had my hands around just, you know, lower than, than what I should have and uh, not around the lid. So because it was cold, um, the lid didn't know, I found out the lid no longer fit on as well as it should have. So after one, two, and on the third, or whatever it was, the lid came flying off, dip went everywhere, all over my car, it was a disaster. Um, but yeah, that's a uh, cold climate dipper problem for sure. So, as I try and think of some others here, um, yeah, for those of you that have mud jugs, um, your mud jug filling up and overflowing faster than you think also is a common dipper problem. Um, I've found that they fill up pretty fast. Uh, I, you know, I was dipping and it was dark in my room and I wasn't really paying attention to the mud jug and it had been an hour, hour and a half or so, uh, adding fillers and whatnot. And I looked down and, you know, the level of the mud jug is now above the opening and I was like, holy shit, it's about to overflow completely. Um, yeah, definitely a, another dipper problem. Also, this may apply to some of you. Um, like I said, Pennsylvania used to have very cheap dip prices. Um, that has kind of changed now we're, now that we have a tax on dip worked into the price where I wouldn't say av up to average, um, but that uh, doesn't mean every state is. So the one day I found myself in New Jersey and 
forgot to bring a tin with me and uh, ended up paying Jersey prices for it, which was like a good dollar fifty more than PA, um, unfortunately. So there's another different problem. Out of state, excessive taxation. Hmm, let's see, what other different problems can I come up with? Oh yeah, also, when you're um, debating between eating a snack and just throwing another dip in, another different problem, I would go for the dip, <laughs> just saying. Um, but yeah, that was that was something, especially for whatever reason in college, it was like, hmm, do I want to snack on this bag of chips or should I just throw another dip in? Um, yeah, I don't know why, but... Let's see what other problems I have encountered. Spilling a spitter or an overfilled mud jug or whatever on uh, your lovely living room carpet. Yeah, that happened once uh, or twice. Uh, not proud to say that. I remember I had a mostly full 20 ounce Gatorade bottle that I don't know what the hell I was doing or thinking, but um, ended up dumping it off the end table and right onto the carpet. Um, a quick response got that cleaned up without issue, um, but it certainly could have been worse. Uh, so yeah, and, and uh, you know, that goes further than that. Carpet, clothing, whatever, dip will stain it if you don't clean it up quickly. You gotta be fast on it before it really seeps in there. Um, if you've ever had that happen, you know, that's a tremendous different problem. So, as far as the purchase of dip, uh, the, you know, ignorance or what, what have you of our lovely uh, convenience store workers at times can be a frustrating dipper problem or the general population thinking dip and chew are the same thing or using the terms incorrectly. Um, but yeah, when you say, I'll take a, I'll take Grizzly Wintergreen long coat or pouches and then they hand you pouches anyway or they just stare at the, at the shelf in kind of disbelief at what you're asking for. Or the other day when I um, was at Wawa and they had a sign up about Skull Spearman pouches and I said I'll take a can of Skull Spearman pouches please. The cashier promptly says Skull doesn't make Spearman pouches. I'm like well you've got them on the shelf and you've got a sign up advertising them they're new. Oh really? You know different problem. And considering I worked on the other side of the cash register for about a year back in community college whether I cared about all the wraps and cigars and everything we carried back there or not, I still knew what we had and what we didn't have and what was available. You know, so I don't, I think you just got to put a little bit of effort in to learn what you've got, especially when you're working next to it all day. I can understand not, not knowing every kind of soda or chips that you have in the store and where precisely it is, but if you're working next to tobacco all day, I would hope you at least know the basics of it instead of being dumbfounded when somebody asks for something as simple as grizzly wintergreen. Uh, but yeah, dipper problem for sure. So I think that uh, covers the bulk of the dipper problems. Um, of course, there's more that I'm missing. So if you've uh, got any dipper problems to share, please let me know. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out Winnington Outdoors, Wayside Lee 83, and uh, Dirty Pat Walsh. And make sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at abergs95, and I will see you next time. Take care.